What's going on YouTube? Andrew here from Do Something Every Day Space 2. I have to put that space in there. If you don't put the space in there for whatever reason, you won't find the videos. I'm not sure what's up with that. Anyway, today is a very special episode because it is our first sponsored episode. Thank you, Thomas from New Jersey. He happens to be my cousin. He also works for Tobo US, which you will see me wearing constantly in the t-shirts. So what did Thomas do? He sent us this. This is an Akaso EK5000. It is a 1080p HD camera that is Wi-Fi enabled, which means you can run this from a tablet or smartphone. Not my smartphone, because it is too old and doesn't work. Anyway, it's in its current waterproof housing. All of the connections and everything that attaches to it is basically exactly like a GoPro. So everything you are about to watch in this episode of Do Something Every Day is shot on this camera itself. Uh, let me quickly take it out of its packaging so you can see how small it actually is. And there you have it. I mean, it's small, and it does have a little LCD screen that you can play back the videos on. But I actually dropped this thing in the ocean today, which you will see in the footage coming up. So, uh, please enjoy the footage. Thank you again, Thomas. And I will have those parts out to you as soon as I can, Thomas. Thanks for watching. Ah. Where are we going, Rory? Yeah, we're going fishing. We're also trying out this new Akaso EK5000 mini cam. I mean, it's it's this big. Anyway, we're going to give it a shot because it comes with this cool waterproof camera case. Uh, right now we're shooting in weird fisheye lens mode, so I apologize. But anyway, we're going to head out on Grandpa's boat, do some fishing probably in the Sebastian River. And we're going to try out this new camera. Okay, let's get started. We're in a 1990s Steiger craft. How many feet? 20... 24 feet. 24 foot. Embarking on Rory's first boating... Oh, fishing trip. Thank you. 
So what'd you think of the video? I thought it was pretty decent. I mean, the fisheye thing is kind of annoying. I'll get into my gripes in a second. Let me show you all the contents that this camera comes with out of the box. You get the underwater case, and I've already got one of the mounts attached to it. This is for the headband and other Velcro straps. An additional battery, beyond the one that's already in the camera. Uh, multiple sticky tapes, uh, different mounts, uh, wall adapter, hello Kiwi, uh, bike mount, uh, they have metal wires in here uh, for a little bit stronger, I think it's for like a chain you could have around your wrist or put it on something, a little clip mount, additional mounts for the car, uh, all these different <laughs> separate bendy pieces, and an additional lens cover, so how cool is that? The video quality is not great. It's 1080p at 30 frames per second. You can bump it up to 60 frames per second if you want to go down to 720 quality. It can do 4K, but only at 15 frames per second, so that's a no-no. They do make an EK7000, which is 4K capable. I think the best selling points of this are that I can hook it up to a tablet and control it wirelessly and store the video on that tablet. So let's say we went on another fishing trip and I wanted to drop this thing down there. I can monitor it from 30 meters away. That's pretty far, but I can also see what's down there. I don't know if I want to hook up any bait to it because I really don't want to lose a camera. But even if I did, here's its party piece. It's only $56 on Amazon for the camera and everything you see in front of you. How amazing is that? All in all, just wanted to say thank you again for watching this episode of Do Something Every Day 2. I hope to try out more unique styles with this camera because obviously it is an action camera. It's meant to take a couple bumps here and there. So I can't wait to see what we end up doing with it. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.